Hello friends welcome to my channel now see about Hampson Linda cycle. Liquefaction of gases is physical conversion of a gas into a liquid state. Liquefaction of gases are used for scientific, industrial, and commercial purposes. Many gases can be put into a liquid state at normal atmospheric pressure by simple cooling, a few, such as carbon dioxide, require pressurization as well. Liquefaction is used for analyzing the fundamental properties of gas molecules, or for the storage of gases, for example, LPG, and in refrigeration and air conditioning. There the gas is liquefied in the condenser, where the heat of vaporization is released, and evaporated in the evaporator, where the heat of vaporization is absorbed. Ammonia was the first such refrigerant, and is still in widespread use in industrial refrigeration, but it has largely been replaced by compounds derived from petroleum and halogens in residential and commercial applications. Liquid oxygen is provided to hospitals for conversion to gas for patients with breathing problems, and liquid nitrogen is used in the medical field for cryosurgery, and by inseminators to freeze semen. Liquefied chlorine is transported for eventual solution in water, after which it is used for water purification, sanitation of industrial waste, sewage, and swimming pools, bleaching of pulp and textiles and manufacture of carbon tetrachloride, glycol, and numerous other organic compounds as well as phosgene gas. Hampson Linda cycle. Air is liquefied by the Linda process, in which air is alternately compressed, cooled, and expanded. Each expansion results in a considerable reduction in temperature. With the lower temperature, the molecules move more slowly and occupy less space, so the air changes phase to become liquid. The Hampson Linda cycle introduced regenerative cooling a positive feedback cooling system. The heat exchanger arrangement permits an absolute temperature difference to go beyond a single stage of cooling and can reach the low temperatures required to liquefy fixed gases. The hampson linda cycle differs from the Siemens cycle only in the expansion step. The Siemens cycle has the gas do external work to reduce its temperature, but the hampson linda cycle relies solely on the jarl thomson effect. The hampson linda cycle has the advantage that the cold side needs no moving parts. Ok how this works. The gas is compressed, which adds external energy into the gas, to give it what is needed for running through the cycle. Linda's US patent gives an example with a low side pressure of 25 standard atmospheres 25 bar and high side pressure of 75 standard atmospheres 76 bar. The high pressure gas is then cooled by immersing the gas in a cooler environment, the gas loses some of its energy Linda's patent example gives an example of brine at 10 degrees Celsius. The high pressure gas is further cooled with a counter current heat exchanger, the cooler gas leaving the last stage cools the gas going to the last stage. The gas is further cooled by passing the gas through a Jarl Thomson orifice the gas is now at the lower pressure the low pressure gas is now at its coolest in the current cycle. Some of the gas may condense and become output product. The low pressure gas is directed back to the counter current heat exchanger to cool the warmer, incoming, high pressure gas. After leaving the counter current heat exchanger, the gas is warmer than it was at its coldest, but cooler than it started out at step 1. The gas is sent back to the compressor to make another trip through the cycle. In each cycle the net cooling is more than the heat added at the beginning of the cycle. As the gas passes more cycles and becomes cooler, reaching lower temperatures at the expansion valve becomes more difficult.
Thank you bye see in next video don't forgot to subscribe.